Hey gang, I got a real treat for you today. Every quarter, and I do this every quarter, I look at the top holdings that hedge funds have. It's called 13F filings. And what these 13F filings do is they allow us to look at any fund that has more than $100 million in capital and to see what stocks they're holding and what stocks they're accumulating. They have to file this form every quarter and they filed their form for the end of third quarter of 2020. So that means we can look back and see what they were doing at the end of September. Now you're probably asking yourself, Roger, we're already in November. Who cares about what they were doing in September? I'm gonna tell you something. Sometimes I see funds end up holding and buying the same stocks for six months, nine months, a year, all going in and in and out. As a matter of fact, this stock right here, let me show you something interesting. This is a stock called SEC Limited. I found this stock the same way back, let me show you when, right here. This is when funds began buying it aggressively, when it was near $56 a share, and now it's near $180 a share. And the way I found the stock was exactly how I'm going to show you the current stocks. Now, what I've done was I've looked at the top 20 fastest gaining hedge funds to see which ones gained the most in previous quarter. Then I organized by the top five stocks that they were holding to see if there was similarities in other funds that were in the same category. So basically what we're looking at is we're looking at stocks that multiple funds held in the same period, and these were the fastest gaining funds that had more than $100 million. And the reason we do this is to find stocks that might not have been on our radar. So let me go through what they are holding, and then I'll go through what they're buying. So the big, the big, uh, the big buying was in mega cap tech, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, Google. That happens almost every quarter. Digital payments were really hot. Visa, American Express, PayPal, global e-commerce, Baba, Shopify, SE, this company, JD, just as I predicted, and cloud computing, Zoom, CRM, Coop, U. So cloud computing, commerce, digital payments, mega tech. Gee, is there a surprise? If you've been watching or following me, then you know there hasn't been any surprises there. Now, in terms of stocks that they're holding, there's not that many surprises, quite honestly. Um, Amazon is, you've got eight funds, eight of the funds out of 20 in the top five had Amazon, all right? Then you had um, Facebook. Again, nothing really surprising here. Then you had Microsoft. Let me continue this. Again, this is what they were holding. Then you had Shopify. I'll go to what they were buying in a minute. Then you had JD. Zoom, believe it or not, only three out of the top 20 funds had Zoom in the top five spot. Remember, this is in the top five spots. Then Visa, three funds had Visa. Let me continue the, going down. Then we have Salesforce. Only three funds had Salesforce. C Limited, three funds had C Limited. Three quarters ago, more funds were buying C Limited than Amazon. Tesla, three funds out of 20. PayPal, two funds out of 20. Again, I'm doing this fast, but you'll be able to rewind this and, and watch it slowly. Google is on the list. Two funds out of 20 in the top five. MasterCard, two funds. There's three more stocks. We got Coop. And we got Unity. Now, this Unity is a new stock. I haven't been looking at this stock. And look at it. See, I'm liking this Unity. What does Unity do? So there's a new stock that's on my list now, providing platform for creating, operating, interactive, real-time 3D content. That's huge. That's huge. So those are the stocks that they were holding. Now, the only surprise here, honestly, would be Unity. Again, Amazon, eight times out of 20 in the top five. Facebook, seven times in the top 20 out of, out of the top five. Microsoft, six times out of 20. Shopify, five times. JD, four times. Zoom, three times. Visa, three times. Salesforce, three times. C Limited, three times. Alibaba, three times. Tesla, three times. PayPal, two times. Alphabet, that's Google, two times. 
MasterCard two times, Coupa two times, United Health, that's interesting, two times, and Unity Software, this one. So far, the only major surprise out of all the stocks is this Unity Software. Two out of 20, that's 10% of funds, are holding this stock in their top five. So that's very, very, very interesting. Now, let's now talk about um, the stocks that were already in there. Now, now this is the stocks that they are buying the most. So out of the top 20, these are stocks that are seeing the most accumulation. And in terms of what we're buying right now, this could surprise you. There's some cool stocks in here. So let's go through this. So the first one, let me just make sure I got it all organized for you. And yes, I do. So the first stock, four out of the top five, four hedge funds out of top five have this stock, Snow Snowflake. Pretty interesting, right? So now we've got two stocks on our list, you and Snow. And again, you may want to rewind this video. Then we got Square. Was Square on our list? No, Square was not on our list. I like this stock a lot. So far, I like this stuff. I like this list. Tesla makes the list. We already saw. Baba makes the list. CrowdStrike makes the list. ServiceNow makes the list. Global GPN makes the list. That was not on our list last quarter. Interesting, right? Global payments. It's a good sector. Unity again. That's very new. It's not wasn't on our list. Peloton is now on our list. Net is now on our list. Stocks that I've been liking for a while. Isn't that interesting? Um, LBRDK is on our list. It's Liberty Broad Broadband. I like this stock. Television services, cable. I like this stock a lot. Another stock. CoStar Group, making the list. And that right there is the list. So what do I make out of this? Well, out of all the stocks, here are some stocks that you should focus on. Write this down. First is you. These are new stocks that are being accumulated by funds. They have not been on the radar till now. They've been on my radar. Some of them have been on my radar, like, like for example, um, Net. This one has been on my radar. Peloton has definitely been on my radar. Square has definitely been on my radar. So let me read these to you. Snowflake, out of 20 funds, top funds, four are holding the Snowflake in the top five buy. Square, three of the top five positions. Tesla, three. Alibaba, three. CrowdStrike 2, ServiceNow 2, Global Payments 2, Unity Software 2, Peloton 2, Cloudflare 2, Liberty Broadband 2, CoStar 2. So as far as new stocks on our list, these are the new ones you should pay attention to. These are stocks that I, have, that I don't remember bringing up. Global Payments, and it's looking really good right now. I like Global Payments. This stock now, everybody's buying this now, Snowflake. It's looking really, really good. Um, this Unity software, I like this a lot. This LBRDK, Liberty Broadcam, I might have already mentioned it. I like this stock. And CoStar, CSGP. Aside from these, we've known most of them, but these are stocks that are new on the list. So you got Snowflake, you got Unity, you got Liberty Broadband, you got um, CoStar, Liberty Broadband, CoStar, Liberty Broadband, Unity Software, and Snowflake. Those are completely new on our list. And folks, if those stocks do nearly as well as SE or Shopify, or Zoom, or or um, Alibaba, or C Limited, or Salesforce, or United Health, then you definitely, definitely, definitely want to pay attention to these stocks. And those are the stocks the top fastest gaining twenty hedge funds have been buying last quarter. The odds are they're still accumulating them. And by the looks of most of these stocks, nothing has changed. Now, folks, pay close attention. 
If you've lived under the constant pressure of monthly bills, mortgage payments, credit card debt, medical expenses, this little known trading pattern could literally help your shoulder those burdens, help you breathe again. Who doesn't want to breathe again, right? It's taken from a 200 year old boom and bust sequence. This predictable profit cycle gives in the no investors clues as to when certain commodities are ready to run higher. And remember, commodities reflect themselves in certain stocks. It, it's been it's been part of history. There are cyclical stocks just like they're cyclical commodities. You don't want to miss this. You really don't want to miss out. And the one expert just sounded the alarm that gold's about to take off. You really need to pay close attention to this. Click on the link below to hear what he's got to say. Do it now. Start breathing again. Take these burdens off your shoulders. And I'll talk to you soon. And pay attention to these 13F stocks. Bye, guys.